Okay. Okay, so like I said, folks, this is uh, this is uh, Tina Knox and this is Dan Landry. They've both just completed the Appalachian Trail uh, probably about a week ago, a little less than a week Two ago. Weeks. Two weeks ago. Two, Two weeks, weeks ago. ago. So they're they're cleaned up, they're fresh as daisies, and they're back in civilization. So welcome, welcome back. Thank you. Um, anyways, uh, before I ask for my rapid fire questions. Let's just get a little background because no one, no one knows where you're from or knows, you know, where you live, that kind of stuff. We don't have to get too whatever involved. But Tina, just give us a little blurb on, you know, where you, where you, where you live and maybe why you wanted to attempt something so crazy. <laughs> well, uh, I'm originally from St. John and now we're living in Shediac. Um, I'm just tagging along, really. I, I enjoyed hiking, and I thought it'd be a great adventure. So uh, Dan's the mastermind behind it, and I happily followed. Tagged along <laughs> for six months. Uh, yeah, four and a half months. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm Dan Landry. Uh, I uh, I'm from Shediac, uh, born and raised. I lived there all my life, uh, pretty much. I lived in Dieppe for a while, but anyways, I live back in Shediac now. Uh, and uh, retired uh, just a year and a half ago to do the Appalachian Trail uh, because I knew it was going to be a big event in Denver and, and I wanted to do it. So I've been, I've been dreaming about doing the trail for 15 years. Okay. Uh, it's just uh, one of those things. That I learned about it and I said to myself, someday I am going to do it. And guess, lo and behold, uh, we did it this year. And uh, it was not easy, but we did it. Excellent. Just a quick question before I ask the, the, some of the rapid fires. Uh, how long have you been a couple? Uh, 15 years. Almost 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. And is it safe to say you're still a couple? Yeah, <laughs> we're married. So, yeah, we're married. Because so. I think it's quite a feat. And uh, I know when we were talking before this that I asked you, um, and I don't know if that's in here, is... How many people st started uh, the day that you started, roughly? There were roughly 100 people registered that, um, that started that same day okay. that you started. And how many do you approximately do the trail uh, a year, each year, you would just Every say? year, on average, before this year. This year was a bumper year because of two years of COVID. So like, yeah. uh, roughly twenty five to 3,000 people would attempt to do the trail every year. Wow, okay. And this year, it was over 4,000. Okay. Because it was like I said, like because of the COVID. And yes. The, uh, so there were more people had more time. More. And more time, and then people got denied the last couple yes. of years and everything okay. else. So, so of that group, I know you wouldn't be able to answer this, but we know, or I feel that it's rare to have fine couples. Is is that correct or not really? Like how? Oh, well, yeah, the percentage of those people, how many couples would do you think? Or five percent? Oh, no, yeah. even if if five percent, like. Said, uh, yeah, like it's like let's say, oh yeah, like one out of a hundred, yeah, yeah, probably one one percent, two percent, probably three couples, yeah, three, three four couples, couples and that's best. the that's the that's the amount that starts, yeah, yeah, it's like, probably even rarer for them to finish, absolutely. Yeah. So absolutely. that's kind of why I wanted you guys. I wanted to invite you guys here to the pub because I think there's not many couples that we would be able to to approach to say, hey, they completed this, mm -hmm. right? So. So okay, let's go. Uh, let's go with my questions, uh, and they're going to be rapid. We won't get into any great length, but uh, and some of them really easy. Start really easy. So okay. first off, how many days were you on the trail? Do you know approximately? One hundred and forty-three. <laughs> it's like it's like prison. <laughs> okay. It's marked somewhere on a tree or on the yeah, backpack. Absolutely. Okay, and so we didn't mention it, but we knew you started in March. But what do you remember? What day it was? Twenty fifth. Yeah, March be, 25th. It's almost like a, a anniversary or birthday every year. Yeah, you'll remember. Yeah, totally Where were you on March 25th? You know, <laughs> yeah. in 2022. Yeah. 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 So we finished uh, August 14th. Okay. So then that's the 143 the days. days. Yeah. Wow. I'm unbelievable. Okay. So the, some of them are quite easy. How did you get there? Because for, first off, just to anyone clarification... I know you said you're from Moncton and Shetty, but this you guys are both Canadians. Yes. yes. So you live and reside in Canada. Okay, yes. for anyone watching this. So uh, you flew to, would you f from to, Moncton to Montreal, Montreal to Atlanta. Okay, and then to get to the start of the trail. It's a shuttle service. Okay. That, uh, we kind of like looked online and uh, we found it. It was uh, 120 bucks US to drive from the airport right okay. to this trailhead. And then they drop you off. They, drop they take you off your bags and say, "Good luck." Good luck. Really? Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> no big hand. Well, I guess and, a handshake from the taxi. And she was literally money. going to pick up somebody who had already quitted. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, okay. That's an ominous sign. Yeah, yeah. True, it's just okay, so you might have touched on this, but how long uh, had you been planning this trip? 15 years. Well, it's, well like, it, it's ingrained in our head for 15 years. Yeah. But really, to get the nitty gritty to really start acquiring stuff, it took about four years. Okay. Uh, the last year was the really the, the biggest, like the last year before the trail. Like, you yes. know, like say from a year from now, let's say yes. a year ago, we start really like uh, purchasing a lot of like heavy duty items, like, you know, the, the stuff that was expensive. And so the last year before the trail was the big year yes. we bought, but b before that we would, you know, do trails that were kind of like similar, like you know, okay. we did a little bit of the Appalachian Trail in New Hampshire. We went yes. for the weekend. Okay. So there's that. So you started of... buying gear a year out almost. Yeah, yeah. Just trying different stuff out. Right. And I bought okay. in the guidebook in two seventeen just so he could see. Yeah. What. Okay. What it was because yeah. when you, before you start, before you do it, you have no idea what it entails. Yes. And okay. now I know everything about what it entails. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's scary. Right. We might get to some opinion stuff here in a minute. Um, could any of Matt of training, uh, prepare you for this trek, do you think? I mean, you did touch on doing a couple of day hikes in the, or... Yeah. You... No. No, yes and no. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, tough. It's tough, tough call. It's tough. The, the, in better shape physically you are, easier to, to start off with. Like, yeah. you'll end up being, like, not as tired starting off. Yeah. But at one point, it doesn't matter. Okay. You can come off of your couch... Yes. And start the trail, yes. or be in super shape, and at one point in the trail, there's not going to be a big difference between you and I. Okay. Say, you know what I mean? Like so. So but, it might get to my question. I have it down in the in in the, in the list, but I, I might insert it here. Would you say then is it more important? I think we touched on before the the questions here. Would you say it's more important to be physically fit or mentally fit? Is it a is it a more physical challenge or a more mental uh, challenge? Mental. Mental, mental, mental challenge by far. You both agree with that statement? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, yeah. most people will agree with you. Like, we talk to people, like, on doing their whole trail. Yes. And everybody says that physically it's hard. Yes. But mentally it's harder. Okay. And I think, <laughs> I guess I digress, but you did mention before this that you there was a spot at the beginning, I think a day or two into the trail, where there's a tree that you showed us yeah. that had shoes. And those are from people that quit the trail there at that that's, point. That's where yeah. they... They say up to at 20 30 miles in. 30 miles. Those 30 are 30 miles, miles. 30 miles of trail. And there's they say it's up to 20% 20, 20 of the people quit at that 30 mile mark. Really? Yeah. That's where they... They, they, they said, you know what? They said, this is not for me. Yes. This is too hard. That's where you tap out. You yeah. tap out. I think what we might do too is, is if you agree, is maybe... Uh, I'll insert some some photos in with the video so people can see sure. Sure. exactly what we're talking about. Sure, so. Yeah. Uh, that would be great. Um, so let's uh, just get to the nitty gritty. What uh, items did you get rid of first? Oh my god! Oh. I remember we we threw out a bunch of stuff. Like we well, had... a lot of we had doubles of things. Yes. So everything that we were carrying duplicates of, yeah, we got rid of, like yeah, the yeah. battery pack, the pot. Um, um, like yeah, like the, the cooking pot. We each had one. We found out we didn't. We like you just knew. Right away. Uh, when you say right away, like how, what is right away? Like week. three days, uh -huh. a week? A week. Yeah. Within a week. So where does this stuff go? Do you send that home? Uh, or like we had like a, actually like a microfiber towel. Yes. It was a heavier one. It was like, it, it was dense and everything else. And it came to about two weeks into it. We never used it. And then something we just, we knew we we're not going to use it. So we actually, I like, just gave it away. You just give it a, what they call hyperbox. You'd go to somewhere in a hostel or yes. in all these places and they would, People would leave stuff there for so you would come along and you would need it. You would take pick it up. It's, it's yeah. for you to it take. It was all free. Yeah. It's all free. But that yeah. first, those first couple of weeks, of those we, hydro boxes. We got rid of. Big. We got rid of over five or seven pounds of stuff that we didn't use. We also sent some stuff ahead okay. because we weren't sure if later we might need it. Yes. So we sent it ahead. Okay. And then when we got to that place, and we did that a few times, we sent we kept bouncing. Yes. Called it bouncing. You kept bouncing a box forward in case you needed items. Okay. And then we finally sent it home in yeah. the end. Yeah. Okay. Um, what uh, what was would you say the first week was like? Do you remember that blissful. first week? Uh, blissful. Blissful. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, so yeah. happy to be there. Just yeah. happy so to be on the trail. Every day, you jump up, you're ready to go. Smiles. Uh, yeah. 
meeting so many people. The fun part of our, our journey was that the first week was actually beautiful weather too, yeah. so it made it a lot easier. To okay. Be happier, I guess. Yes. It measure the weather, the happier you're going to be. Okay. It's right there, like that. It's yeah. right there. So, uh, so yeah, no, it was blissful. Actually, the best word for it was blissful. Really? Did, yeah. was, do you think that's shared by? I mean, we know that some people drop out that first week or a lot do. Uh, if but... you're if you're meant to be uh, like a like a true hiker, like yes. you know, it should be blissful. Okay. And then okay. and then for the most people that I know that that are finished it or finishing yes. it or or did finish it, yes, it was the same state as we are. They were very blissful to be there the first week. Okay. And certain times it was hard. Like one day it was a very cold day. Yes. But still, like it didn't matter. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll move some quick ones here. What type of tent did you use? It's called a tarp tent. Okay. Tarp tent cloud burst three. Okay. And you're happy with that? You would use Absolutely. that same tent? Absolutely. Yeah. It was very, very sought after tent after we used it because people loved it. Oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah. And as a couple, you just had one tent? Yes. Okay. Uh, no separate bedrooms. Not like no. separate bedrooms. <laughs> no, okay. no. I'm sure some nights yeah. they might have been yeah. the times yeah. you wanted yeah. it, yeah. eh? No, really? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. wow, impressive. Yeah, nothing well, you survived as a couple, so. Yeah. Um, boy, it's funny because we couldn't survive in one tent in my house. <laughs> Most but nights, but not every, every night. What are you going to fight about? They're, you're not working. Yes. You, the, there's nobody there no but kids. the two of you. Yes. No kids, um, uh, no responsibilities. There's, there's no outside life. Yes. So, you know, you might fight about, oh, you you didn't boil the water fast enough for my tea. Yes. You know. What are you going to fight about? Did that happen? Um, I, we had a couple little disagreements. Yeah. Yeah, there's not yeah. Fights, yeah. yeah. Uh, what about backpacks? What type of backpacks? Mine's an Osprey um, Exos 56. Okay. And Lifting. mine is a Gregory Jade 53. Excellent. And you're both happy with those? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You'd go again? Yeah. Uh, footwear and why? Ultra Olympus 4s because yeah. they're light. They dry quickly and they have a really thick cushion, cushion like on okay. the bottom. Yeah. On the bottom and right. when you say that, the what was the name again? Like Ultra? Ultra Olympus. Oh, these are, are these hiking boots? Are they shoes? They're, or hiking, trail, running they're shoes. A trail running shoe. Okay, that's they're what they're designed for a trail running shoe. Okay. They're, the Ultra brand, like it's, the, the brand is Ultra. Yeah. It is the most popular true hiking shoe there is. Okay. Like of okay. all the shoes that are out there. Most people will wear an ultra. Okay. Either like there's different, like just uh, Olympus 4s. Yes. But there's different kind of like different makes. Of yes. Like, but. What was like, I should have asked this question a couple questions previous, but what were the weight of your packs? Do you remember? Or Mine you know? Was, well, you got to do the base weight. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, what happens is, yeah, just the base weight without no food, no water. That's just your tan, like all okay. the essential to live with. Yes. Was about me. It was about eighteen pounds. Okay. Me probably me, fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then so then after that, like, if you carry five days of food and one liter of water, yes. I was up to twenty eight pounds. Okay. And right. I'd be twenty four, twenty five. And where would you put yourself in that range of of the hikers that you come across? Do you light. You you consider yourself. Yeah. And light. what would be the scale? There's heavy. Yeah, medium so light and ultra light yeah, or what yeah, are they yeah like so That's exactly it. so in other words like we met a lot of people they were like in a 35 pound range yes okay so but, but we were at a 27 pound range 20, okay so there's a dip there's a big difference yeah and, and under twenty would be ultra light. Under twenty pounds is ultra ultra light. And so that's hard. Just, you, it's hard to get under twenty. That does, yeah, but then you're, you're, you're living okay. without essentials. Like you know, you you're not living. You know, you, they don't bring uh, uh, air mattress. They they sleep on the ground. Yes. They, so it's people that really have minimalistic, yes. but they also don't go for like comfort. I we had weight because of comfort. Yes. And we had pretty much good food also too. So like we okay. chose our food a little bit heavier, but it was more nutritious and everything else. Okay. Uh, what time of day would you uh, start and finish? If you could estimate. Well, on, on average, average, we start at 7, 7.30. 7, 7.30, yeah. We get and up at 6, 6.30. And to be on trail for 7, 7.30. Like okay. It took us about 45 minutes to an hour from getting up to yes. being on, like starting the trail, walking on trail. It took us about 45 minutes to an hour. It depends okay. on, like, sometimes you're just a little bit slower in the morning. Yes. To get really like pack six. up and then, you know, you have to get there already. So, and so, then we... We hike till about six or seven o'clock at night. And so I, I guess, the, do you know how long the trail is from 
start to finish from uh, is it Spruce uh, Spring, Spring Mountain. Mountain to Two. Mount Katahdin? Yeah. Do you know what is that distance? Two thousand one hundred ninety-four point three miles. Oh. <laughs> you know. three three thousand five hundred thirty-three kilometers. Wow. So I'm just thinking in the day. So do you have like a? I mean, each day is probably different, but do you have like a minimum amount that you want to try yeah. to so, accomplish? Or? So what happens is uh, like. It depends on your food situation because that's when you, you your food depicts when you got to go to town to get okay, more food. Yes. So you know that say from one end, say you just picked up, you're you're full of food, you're just on trail. Yes. And you know it's going to take uh, sixty miles to get to the other town. Okay. So you know you had to make sixty miles in five days. Okay. So it's like you know say eighteen miles a day. Average. Yes. So one day you could do, and you you go like I have a nap that would give me. The elevation and so the, the more elevations the tougher the trail would be that day sure. so we know let's say it was a super elevated day yes we would hike let's say 15 miles okay and the next day would be more flat so we could do 20 miles that okay. Day. okay so but at the end of the five days we still had to reach yes that 60 mile marker for to get in town to get more food if okay. not we'd have a you know you don't want to run out of food so you're doing mental calculations yeah. almost every day, of, every day. Of, and depending on the yeah. terrain and, and where it, you're going and we had options to go where we could stay like you know okay okay um do, uh, did, was it easy to get cell service? Did you get like on the yeah, trail? Well, How does that work? Easier than you think. Yeah, easier than eighty okay. percent of the trail had cell service. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's good to know. Yeah. Um, what about uh, access to water? Like, how easy was it to get water? Super easy. Even so, from the very beginning? and the, from the very to the end. Okay. There was only a couple spots where yeah, they, water was scarce. Was scarce. And we had an app, so you'd always kind of know when you'd gauge okay. your water. Okay, so the app was very helpful. Oh, it's, it, it's the, biggest tool, the biggest tool in my uh, toolbox. Do my you want to say anything about yeah, the app Yeah, the app is called, uh, it's called Far Out. Out. Okay. Uh, it tells you, like, it shows exactly, it's a GPS. It tells me exactly, there's a red line where the, the trail is. If you want, there's different kind of pages to yes. it. But the page I used the most is a red line, and it shows you. So if you're off trail, you know right away. Like yeah. you know, there's a little dot that tells you you're on trail still. Okay. And every dot, like there's another, like it tells you where the water source is, and it tells you it's point point two miles to eighty five miles from okay. here. There's a water source. There's like tent sites. There's shelters, a town shelters. Towns, yeah. Uh, amenities of towns. Uh, amenities of town. Uh, views like viewpoints. And yes. Mountain tops. So it showed me everything. From where I was, if it was on, I could tell you exactly 6.3 miles from now, there was a water source. 8.5 miles, there was a, a, a mountain peak. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, so it was. So as you're walking along, oh, I'm only 6 miles away. Oh, yes. I'm only 5 miles away. You know okay. what I mean? Like, so. Did you come across, I know you guys used a tent, but did, did you come across anyone that was using a hammock? Oh, I love oh, them. Oh, time. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. Do, you, do you know Probably, what they're... Uh, a quarter of them. Uh, not a quarter, but I'd say... 20%, yeah, oh, oh yeah. Oh, Would they have a tent as well or just no, for a hammock? Just, just no, a hammock. Just a hammock. Just a hammock. And do you, do you remember that they, they were clearly were happy with that style? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. okay. Do you think if you weren't a couple, would you consider that, or would you still go a tent? Oh, I still, still go a tent. tent. No, yes. I, I slept in a hammock and I didn't like it. Is the curvature or something? Yeah, the curvature is just a comfort. Like, you know, yes. when you're flat, you can roll around it. Yeah, you can't roll okay. around it. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh, what, <laughs> what did you sit on at night? You're not carrying uh, stools. <laughs> foam pad. On a rock, anything else, but they had this little foam pad. It's like right here, these foam pads right here. Okay. So, like, we each have one, there's two in here, and then we just kind of like unfold it and sit on the rock. And yeah. Other and people had some that were smaller. Yeah. Did Six you packs. look for places that had stumps? <laughs> yes. You kind of you, you lean towards it, like, you know, you had a log, it's like a laid yes. log down. And it would, that would be a luxury, but some places yeah. if it's just like a, a rock, flat, piece, a of rock a, yes. a piece of grass, you just sit where you want. But you're not sitting down a long time. Okay. Like you're just literally cooking your, your 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 meals and everything else, and you're going to bed because within an hour you're already sleeping. Okay. Like you're tired. You're 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 beat. I don't have this on my list, but I'm just curious. Uh, the nights. Was there a lot of times where there's always other tenters around or people uh, or there's place times where you're just by yourself? Or most times we would pick where we're just by ourselves. Okay. That way there is just privacy is one thing, but then you, you know, you don't, you don't get waked and waking up by the other people okay. or you don't wake up other people. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, and it was, it was probably 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
So there's some nights where you're with a group or you're oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It could have been anywhere from yeah. three to four tents, or some places with yeah. like twenty tents. And there is place there is shelters on the AT yeah. trail, right? Yeah. Every but how uh, how easy is it to get access to that if there's that many people out there? It was very competitive in the beginning. Yes. Very okay. competitive. Yeah, and uh, we slept in the beginning a little bit, a few times in them, and I actually hated it uh, okay. because it was one, there was people right beside you that yes. you don't know, and they, you know, the noise factor, snoring, and, snoring and everything else, and they would get up to pee in the middle of the yes, night and okay. would wake you up. And so, no, it's, it's, it's it was not a, um, it was nice because it was a shelter. It was yes. with your roof over your head, yes. you know, you, that you, you're covered Gonna from the elements. Tent. Okay. But, but Some it's, people just slept in shelters. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's enough on the trail that you yeah, can. There's every eight to 10 miles, it's a shelter. Oh, I didn't the, know that. For the whole thing. Okay, so every eight to ten yeah, kilometers, on average, like some, some, sometimes yeah, it would be four average, miles, yeah. yes. sometimes, sometimes it would be twenty miles, yeah. but like on average, yes. it's every eight to ten. Is miles. it just one shelter, or there could it be a couple of that's the one shelter? Like a lot of times, if there's a lot of high traffic areas, yes. they'd be like close together, like they'd be two miles apart. Yes. So like there'd be a big shelter here and another shelter yeah. two miles away. Yes. Two miles might be a stretch. Probably. Yeah, three, five. four, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So Would it be fair to say that there's more people on the trail in the beginning, the first month or two, and then it starts petering out as oh, you yes. get further Absolutely. up the trail? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you start with a big group. You're seeing regular people. Yeah, yeah. and then they just kind of pick off after a while. Then okay. after, but after a while, too, you got to think. Some people are faster than you, so you don't yes. see them again. Yeah. And we are faster than some people, so... We don't see them again because we I, I hike them. Yes. They could still be on trail, but we don't know. We, yes. You know. Some people take more days off than others. So did you, I guess that gets to, to my question, did you hike mostly alone or with a group or was it a combo? Mostly, uh, mostly alone. alone. Okay. But just ourselves, yeah. But and that's, maybe. you got your own pace and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even, even the groups, the tram lanes that got together, they would mostly hike on their own during the day. And just meet at night. And meet at night. At, meet at yes, night. yes, at the camp, at yeah. the sites. Yeah. yeah. Sites, yeah. Sites, because everyone has a different pace. Right. And, yeah. Okay. So, uh, what about trail names? My trail name is Fizz. Okay. And Danzel. Danzel. And if Danzel, I can probably see it because it kind of rhymes with your name. Yeah. Uh, but Fizz, I don't know. Is there any so backstory to that, or I what do you want to tell it? I brought two pounds of Arborn Fizz sticks, which yes. you put in your drink. They're little energy. Yes. Carbonation drinks. Yes. I brought two pounds of those with me. Well, 180, 170 of them. 170 of them. Sticks. Two pounds. And I made him carry a pound and I carried a pound. And of course, when people saw that, they were like, oh my God, that's ridiculous. And that's where my name That's how you got Fizz. Yeah. yeah. And is Danzel, is there a story behind well, that? Well, yeah, because uh, we met a lot of people and all this. And I had a couple of, couple of incidents on trail that I would embellish on that would be like, uh, exaggerate a little bit my stories okay. but this family thing because they're all a bunch of kids and everything else but they're all in their mid-20s and and then um so they would find it funny but it was kind of like a dramatic, yes. dramatic so it came from Danzel in distress oh, okay so and they, instead of being Danzel in distress i dan Danzel distress, yes. distress so anyways i i when you bestowed out a name like that, I, I accepted it, and then it became my, uh, my trail name. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, a shout-out to uh, your favorite hiker that you met on the AT Trail. Tennessee Pickle. Tennessee Pickle. Tennessee Pickle. Oh, and you both agree. Oh, yeah. absolutely. By yeah. far. Why would you say that? Oh, it's a girl. Sorry. It's, it's, it's a girl. 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 Yeah, it's a girl. Like, she's she's uh, so sweet. So sweet. She's smarter. an amazing, amazing person. Like, you yeah. meet this person, you would meet this is person. Is she hiking on the trail? Or is she, she like... finished the same day. She we finished, started the same we day. We finished together. We started the same day. What? We finished yeah. the same we day. We met on the very first day, and we ended up finishing. No way. Yeah, and we ended yeah. up hiking quite a bit together. And so she moves quick, too, then. Yeah. Yeah, she's 27 years old. She's oh, a, she's young. Yeah. Okay. yeah, she's a physical therapist uh, and uh, an amazing person. Yeah. Do you know anything about the the, the pickle part of her? Her great her great great, 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 great grandmother, great grandmother was named name. was pickle Tennessee pickle. That was her actual name. Oh, okay. that was her actual name Tennessee pickle. Well, there you go, folks. A shout out to Tennessee pickle. Yeah. I hope you're watching. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've made some friends here in Canada for sure. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. A, a shout out to your favorite trail angel. The girl, the, would, sneaker, um, the sneaker girl, the though. sneaker girl, and yeah. Barbara. 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 Her name is Barbara. She is a Virginia resident. Okay. She was camping, and uh, I was in desperate need of shoes, and was hitchhiking, and she not only picked us up. Originally, she said she could only take us to the end of the campground. Yes. But she ended up taking us. 
To the Outfitter. To the Outfitter, which was a 40 minute drive one way. Okay. Waiting for us while I went and got shoes, brought us back another 40 minutes, offered up uh, for us to sleep on her campsite. And, and she fed us. Spent, <laughs> she fed us. She was running in and out of her camper. What can I give you? Do you need some food? Do you need this? And um, yeah, she was a, amazing, yeah, yeah. And, amazing uh, woman. And amazing, amazing. And, and, and personality. Personality, like, she was we, just... We, we shared a lot of, like, we sat down and talked about her life. Her, yeah. She had a, a rough she had upbringing. A tough upbringing. Yeah. I mean, she was an older woman. She would have been probably in her early 70s, late yeah. 60s, probably. Late yeah. 60s, I'd say. And yeah. she had a really, really rough uh, going life. And she was but just being... But because of that... It was very important for her to pay it forward yes. and do good. Okay. And she was yeah. an amazing person. Amazing. And what state did she reside in? Like where Virginia. 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 Yeah. We met her in the Shenandoahs. Sh 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 okay. She was camping there. Well, big shout out to Barbara in the Shenandoahs. Yeah. Uh, boy, uh, you're well liked up here in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> um, a favorite state? I don't know if you had one or. Uh, Maryland. Uh... Massachusetts for me. Yeah. Why? It Quickly. was beautiful. The okay. big, yeah. big trees. Yeah. It was a little bit flatter. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I liked. Yeah. I enjoyed Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah. And what? But did you agree, or did you, did you have another state you thought? I, Maryland was nice for me. I thought Maryland was nice. Why? Uh, I was just. It was the first time that actually it was got easier. Okay. But it, the trail was a lot nicer. Just the the, the, the beauty of it. It was different. Okay. It was just it, because Virginia was five hundred miles. Okay. And it was tough. And then okay. Virginia was the next state, and it was beautiful. Like, it, it's uh, tough to pick a favorite state yeah. because each state was very yeah. unique. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah. Which leads me to my next question, and I might reword it. Don't answer yet. I have least favorite state, but maybe we should change that to most difficult state. Like, because I don't want to say, I don't want to, you know, if anyone's watching this, I don't know, and they're from this state, if they take it the wrong way. But no. hardest state, like, you know, if you had a... The hardest day would be Maine. Is Maine, and why would you well, say that? Like, well, because it's just it was rugged. Uh, the mountains were hard, tough. Long. See, and you know what? That could be a that could be actually looked as a positive thing if you're from Maine. Oh yeah, because yeah. Maine, 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 it was okay. But Maine was the most beautiful one, though. Okay. Yeah. Like, okay. Like, like, like New Hampshire. Lots of lakes, lots of views. Like, but it's a struggle. It's a struggle. I mean, there's the Mahusic Notch in Maine, okay. which is the toughest, beautiful. hardest. Most difficult mile okay. on the trail. Oh. It took us an hour and a half yeah. to do one mile. Okay. And then, right after you finish the Mahusik Notch, you have to climb a, you have to climb a very steep, Mahusik difficult Mahusik. mountain. Mahusik. Yeah, yeah. And that took up probably an, an hour, hour. Yeah. at least. And that's with a backpack, folks. Yeah. <laughs> all your food, all yeah. your water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we had just resupplied. Yeah. Okay, yeah, wow. So. Okay, well, let's uh, go from the hardest or most difficult. What about your favorite stop or your favorite place? Do you remember any? Oh. I mean, it'd be tough. I know you're out there for five, mm. five, five months. Uh, months. No. Uh, it's no. like favorite spot. It, there's so many. There's okay. so many yeah, spots. Yeah. Spot that might not be own. fair. Yeah. 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 It, it's really okay. like, it, there's it's not tough. one that really stands out that say, oh my God, this is the yes. good place to yeah. be. Like, you know. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm not, I had a least favorite spot, but I'm, I'm just going to skip that. How about your highest point emotionally? Oh, do you Ooh. mean like happiest or? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you did it, you know, I guess, uh, say in the, big, the first week, you're pretty Yeah, we were like, high. You know, like a big honeymoon, honeymoon stage. Did, is there, was there any other, I don't know, sometimes you get runners high when you're Yeah, runner. no, we did get that, that actually uh, uh, halfway, a little bit more than halfway through. Uh, we were doing good miles every day. We were doing 20 miles plus a day. I felt invincible. Like I felt I could climb any mountain. What could, state? Where were you? Are you halfway? Uh, you passed halfway point? Yeah, like the beginning of Pennsylvania. Like, okay. You know, that's a little bit more than halfway, and it was uh, you. I, we felt invincible. And okay. And you had, like you said, that run is high. Like it's yes. exactly what it was. Yeah. You're like, good. The things were yeah. just going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Going good. Everything smooth. was. Every day was yeah. smooth. Okay. And you know, yeah. you could push the miles. Yes. You could okay. push the limits a little bit, and it wouldn't. Okay. You know, so it wouldn't yeah. affect you. And, okay. Yeah. Now that's the high. For me, the that's, lowest low. That's where the lowest day on trail. Okay. We're getting the there. The lowest low for me was that day in New York. Yeah, New we, York. We came into a parking lot, and I was having a tough day, but we came to a parking lot, and it was full of cars, and I thought, I could be home in three hours. 
Oh, you're close to the highway. I was so you're on the parking lot. Like, you're right there. Park, yes. Like, park entrance, and I thought I could be home in, in three Glad hours. Glad no one left their car running yeah. with the kids <laughs> in there. That was probably yeah, yeah, my yeah. lowest day. Yeah. Yeah. But it was also one of my best days because once I kind of got through that, yes. we had a lot of fun yeah. that day. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, interesting. Um, this is an interesting one, but I think it's one that I've always wondered about. Um, I'm just going to ask it. We don't have to get into too much detail, uh, but bio breaks, um, how does that work? And when I say bio breaks, meaning yeah. biological functions, yeah. you know, when, because right. that's not something you so hear the one about. Thing, yeah, well, so what how thing, does that work? As, as you're hiking along, for men, it's easy. You just go in a bush somewhere and you pee. Okay. Women uh, at the start, they would go into like the woods, like it could be like 20 feet, 40 feet into the woods, 100 feet. And they would go their business, like you know, for peeing. Yes. This was peeing. Uh, at the at halfway on, it came to a point. There's nobody around. We would just you just the trail. You didn't even hide it, like because there's nobody around. Yes. And you're in the middle of the woods, you just pee. Okay. Now the pooping part is is a, it's a different story. You're technically you're supposed to go over a hundred feet off trail. Okay. Dig a hole, minimum six inches deep. Yes. Poop in that hole. Okay. And do your business in it and then fill it up. And yes. then, because that would be, you know, hide away, the, the, the animals would get yes. into it and everything okay. else. 100% we did that. Yes. Whether it's 100 feet or more, it didn't matter, but you tried yes. to be 100 feet more yes. off trail. You would literally go there, you squat in the hole, and you poop, yes. and then okay. you come back. That's it. Okay. Well, that's good. No, but now, just out of curiosity, it's. Is that do they tell? Does anyone tell you that? Yes, or have you learned, absolutely. Or yeah, you just yeah. the, like when you sign up? Or? Yeah, you sign up. Yeah. They give you a little seminar. Okay. And, and, and oh. It specifically tells you all about the trail, where to camp. And they're very adamant and about the, 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 poop, the, poop, the, the pooping and... part of it. They want you to take the hole in it because yeah. yes. you yeah. just don't want to like smell important. smell poop everywhere. Yeah. yeah. There's not many people on the trail. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, then this conceals it and by degrees of more yes. faster. It makes it yeah. thick. so. Absolutely, not an issue. And, and is it fair to say, like, I don't know about everyone's body's different, but uh, I would think that you, your body gets in a routine, so maybe you get reg. Can you would you say you get regular, like, kind or of? No? Uh, for for me, I would poop every three days. Okay. For her, she would do it like twice a day. Okay. It's just different. Okay, so it's okay. And, and a lot of times too, you got to think though, like every three times a day, about. Yes. There's a creepy, there's a, there's a nut house. Oh, I didn't I, know that. At, yes. at every oh, shelter, okay. 90% yeah. of the shelters had a nut house. Okay. So, if okay. you can, you wait for that. Yeah, you, yes. wait, you wait for the, trust me, you wait for that. So, yes. like, so I knew, like, on my app, I would go, you know, there's a shelter, like, say, five miles away. I yes. knew that was going to be two hours. Okay. So, in two hours, I could there's do a, my business. There's a washroom there. there there's okay. a, well, not a washroom. Not a washroom. Not, no, it's just a nut house. It's yes. Just, it's a nut house. Yeah. It's a, yeah, okay. There's well, that's... That's good to know. I don't think a lot of people like to talk about that, but it's something, if someone's really serious about yeah. it, it's, a fact it's of an life. important, yeah, <laughs> it's a fact of life. Uh, one of the, one object that you can't, uh, couldn't do without? Our sleeping, sleeping mat. Sleeping mat. And the tent. Yeah, like, you know, like, well, the thing is, is like, there's a lot. Do you like, want to put a shout out to the sleeping mat? I think we mentioned the tent. Yeah, it's like uh, this, the Nemo. The Nemo, yeah, the t Nemo Tensor. Okay. It's a, it's a brand name, Nemo, and, uh. And you both use the same ones. Same yeah. ones, yeah, yeah. and, uh. They're three inches. They're, they're insulated for the cold, and it was amazing. It's, it's comfortable. And I guess you you are spending, even though you're on the trail a long time, you are spending a, a portion of it sleeping and trying to rest. Oh yeah, every night. And so. a good night's and recover. Rest is so very important. Yeah. Makes, makes for the yeah for your next day. So, okay, uh, item that people uh, should leave at home. Everything. Uh, <laughs> Except for the, the Kindles. <laughs> the Kindles. Uh, it, everything should. Um, your fears leave leaves your fear at home because okay. what happens is that you bring a lot of stuff yes. that you end up not using. Okay. Like I've seen people bring uh, Christ, I'm like, like a cast iron pan. Oh. Uh, but that's kind of exaggerated. Yes. It's true though. Yeah. Like, you know, yes. Happens. It happens. You know, like an extra pair of shoes. Yes. Some people bring two pairs of sneakers. Yes. You only wear one. Yeah. Okay. Don't bring another pair. Okay. I mean, like bring a camp shoes, but that's the same. That's yes. the same thing. That's Crocs. Okay. Or, Interesting. Um. I, I don't know if we touched on this, but the hardest day of hiking. I think you mentioned uh, somewhere uh, in, was it in Maine or something? Yeah, in Maine, yeah. yeah. Was that the same for you, Dan? No, my hardest hardest day is hiking. Uh, for me, it was different. I had a, a lot of allergies. I okay. Had, like a seasonal allergies. And yes. Like in, uh, 
in back in late April, Virginia. May, and all okay. in May. Okay. The flowers were gone, and I was just miserable with my uh, okay and stuffy and stuff. Stuffy okay. and stuff. So that was kind of like there was about a three week period yes. that I really suffered, like uh, from the allergies. Yes. So that made it hard for me. Besides that, I didn't have a, a bad day. Like there was a lot of tough days. Yes. But like having a bad day, there was like just except for my allergies, no. Okay. I don't know if this is a fair question, but maybe uh, friendly estate uh, f for through hikers. I don't know. Like, oh, I mean, there's a lot of them. But Massachusetts, yeah. Massachusetts was that where Manchester Center was? Yeah, that was a nice one. There was, was like all the Georgia actually were nice. Yeah. That'd be that's not a fair question because I think, all, yeah. they, they all have yeah. places, but actually yeah. the, the southern states were by far more hiker friendly. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, what were the bugs like? Not, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too like bad. It. Like I said, it was not even a one, out of one out of ten. It's already been a one. Really, so very yeah. surprising. Say being... that. I'd say I'd give it a three. No. For one out of ten. Why are all the bugs up here in Canada then? <laughs> you, <laughs> you have to think about the gnats though too. Right. Yeah, the gnats don't bite. So. Yeah, yeah, but still, they're in your face. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty good. I was thinking yeah. it'd be a lot worse. So, uh, were you mostly cold or hot? Hot. Hot. Wow, interesting. Um, did you prefer hiking up? Or down, up, like up. The, up. going a up. million times up. Oh, yeah. and I think that for novice hikers, they're they're always thinking the down part, but not it's if hard. you're. Yeah, no, no. no, no. Yeah. And why is it? Why is it? Is it because of the knees and it's just knees. it's hard, eh? And yeah. it's hard to see. Like when you're going up, you can see where you're gonna yes. go. When you're going down, you can't see where you that you're landing, like because it's always steep. Like, yes, it's almost like reverse psychology. Yeah, because absolutely. When you're going up, you think this has got to be the worst until yeah. you have to go down. Yeah, exactly. And you're thinking, actually, this is the worst. You yeah. also have momentum pushing you down. Yes. <laughs> oh. uh, stay with the best hiking weather. Oh, we oh. had fabulous weather the whole okay. time. So. Really? It's like yeah. they all had their... They all okay. had great weather. Uh, so I'm, I had worst here, but they all had great weather, so there wouldn't yes. be a statement. Favorite trail meal? Uh, it's a hamburger. Uh, on actually, our very best meal we had on burger was uh, at the uh, uh, Green Heart. Is this on trail oh. or is this off trail? Is this in the uh, town? Yeah, on trail. Sorry, were you trail. meaning on trail? On trail. I'm thinking like on when in the like in, when you're hiking. Yeah, when we're hiking. What do you, where, what's your what favorite? Was our favorite. Oh my god! And maybe clarify what what it was dehydrated. Pete, Pete yeah. Re oh no, the chicken quesadilla. Remember we got it uh, at. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, was it a dehydrated meal? It again? was a dehydrated meal, and it was chicken and refried beans, and you put it on a tortilla, and it had some cheese in it. I think. Yeah. It was delicious. We only had we bought four packs, and we searched for that meal mm. the Ever rest of our trip. Well, everyone we else knew it was it. good. Then. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there, was, there was other good foods there, but like I mean, but, but that there was, was there, a good. There, there, what was a, What was a, a staple though? If that was your favorite, you must have one that you kind of uh, went to the most, or did you? Uh, like the lasagna. Lasagna, the pasta yeah. one. Yeah, okay. like always find like that. A like, you know, like a pasta marinara yeah. sauce, okay. that kind of thing. Yeah. So those were like, they get, they get bland after a while. Like, you okay. know, they kind of taste the same. It was, yes. it was not bad, It was, but you needed fuel. That's fuel okay. for your, for your Yes, body. yeah, okay. Um, trail snack, your go-to. Uh, kind bars for me. What is it, sorry? It's called a Kind bar. It's like a, a granola bar. It's okay. Like, the brand name is Kind. Is it a heavy? Like... No, it's not like a, it's not like a Cliff bar. Right? Okay. You know, okay. It's more like a granola bar. Okay. But it's uh, it had high uh, proteins and okay. high uh, calories. Okay. Very good. It was generally cheap, but I mean that's you know, just bought them in Hawaii's. But the, yeah. yours the was... fig bars probably. Yeah, oh yeah, the me. fig bars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fig bars. But the fig newtons kind of thing. Yeah, it's but they, they, they had it's flavored it's... ones like blueberry, strawberry, raspberry. Okay. It was a different okay. brand name. I can't remember the name. Yeah. The brand name, but it was they were delicious. Actually, yeah. yeah, that was one of my favorites too. Yeah. What about meal cravings? Like off the trail, like when you're on the trail Great and you're meat. like, you're like thinking about this all day. Hamburger, right? hamburger steaks. Hamburgers okay. The, yeah. yeah, the Wendy's burgers are. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh. Um, do you remember your last supper before AT? Like, uh, yeah, like in, before the AT? Uh, was that the, uh, that did buffet, you have a big meal? Yeah, lunch, yeah. It was okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what about uh, your first supper back after AT trail? <laughs> uh, I had chicken fingers at a diner. Yeah, I had a uh, fish burger, yeah. Fish burger. Okay. That's somewhere in Maine, I would think. I no, think. no, it was actually, in, uh, in St. Stephen's. It was St. Stephen's. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got going. Motor, yeah. Okay. Uh, what did you miss most about civilization? Uh, the kids. Kids. 
Okay, your own personal kids or yeah. kids? Yeah. Are, okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, that's good. I'm happy. I think your kids would be happy to hear that. <laughs> uh, what did you miss the least about city life? The noise. Yeah. The, the, the hustle. Oh, the least? Like, I missed the least. Like, yeah, the, the noise. Yeah, like, I missed we missed the, the least. Yeah, the yeah. noise. Yeah, yeah the really? Noise. Yeah, the, the city noise. Yeah. Uh, the hustle. It's so peaceful. It's the quiet hustle. then. It's quiet. The owl, yeah, like, you hear the owls and the wolves in the distance. The yeah. owls were amazing. Yeah. Every really? night you go to sleep to the yeah. owls. Like, hoo hoo. Yeah. Hoo, and and night. even there were those, like, the ones that were doing that weird call. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. The oh, owls. Wow, interesting. Well, that's yeah. great. Um, a weight loss. Is this a sure bet? Yes. Oh, yeah. We, I lost 33 pounds in the trail. 33 for Dan. 24 for me. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so anyone that's thinking of uh, needs to lose weight, way to lose yeah, weight. Yeah, I don't it's, think it's... it's, right. and, it's and, you don't, and you don't lose weight because you're not hungry. Yeah. It's because you, you're burning more calories you're burning, than, you're yeah. than you're actually eating. Yes. Um, did anyone have their pet with them? Yes, a yes. lot of dogs. A lot of really? Dogs. A lot of dogs. Yeah. Like, I mean... Interesting. It wouldn't be hard to say every day you could see a person hiking with a dog for a while. For a, while. For a long yeah. time, yeah. yeah. Are they and they're off leash? I would think they're like. Uh, well, yeah, most, yeah, yeah, most of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Um, what about showers and smelly socks? <laughs> uh, lots of them. Well, lots of smelly socks. socks. Like all their clothes smell. Like I mean, after a while, you do you lose? Do you actually lose that? Can you smell them or no? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Yourself, you, you, you can do, smell them. When you, you smell yourself, it's okay. really bad. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's really bad when you smell yourself. And but it came to a point. You, you don't notice the smell, though, until, you until really, it gets really, really bad. But that's tough. That's See, that's one thing that's even tougher as a couple. Because if it's just a single person. Yeah, you don't smell, yeah. You smell yourself. It doesn't yeah. yeah, I mean... But it's yeah, that's so yeah. that's a that's a kudos to why there's not as many. <laughs> yeah. The succeeding. funny thing is, you might not smell yourself. Yeah, but you I smell can your guarantee you, you smell the clean people. Oh, you oh really? Oh, yes. oh you smell. You can smell people. as they walk by. They walk by. They smell nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that's story. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh okay, that's neat. Uh, do you miss? This is more like now. I mean, I know you've been back almost two weeks, but do you miss that routine? Yes. Yes. I miss the simplicity. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. so simple. It's so simple. Like, it's just simple. Like, you know, you, you, you know just what you, get up, you, you walk. Knew, you knew what you had to do every yes. day. It was not that complicated. It was, yeah. yes. even though you knew it was going to be a tough day, it was still simple. Yes. You know what? So you have to put one foot in front of the other. Yeah, it's simplicity. Like, yes. you know, all you have to do, worry about is to eat, yes. sleep, drink. I think we both mentioned this before we started talking is that uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the only thing that you have is what's in your bag. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, some, the simplicity of that, and, and it is... Uh, it is liberating. Kind of, yes, liberating. liberating. Uh, that was the word that we were using. Um, what's the thing uh, you miss most, um, uh, and the uh, most uh, and the least? So, do, I, is there any one thing you miss the most right now? I know you've, it's not been that long since you've been off trail but but I mean, just the, miss the, the peace and quiet, the peace and okay. quiet. going the to sleep by the river okay. like the sound and, of the river the, the sound of the owls there, the, okay. people. the people you meet there like yeah. you meet you meet so many yeah. uh like dynamic people it was amazing sure. like, you, we you know you you it's unreal like everybody's talking you know you can talk to you and yes. it's like you know the same conversations you know what they're talking about it was all it was it was so you you miss that yes what won't you miss the hardness, the the the, the toughness. The toughness of okay. the <laughs> yeah, the, the like the the actual you know like when you're you're grueling climbing, climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and everything yeah. else and it's mentally it's hard. never ending. It's yes. never ending and it's mentally and physically hard. Yes, you don't miss that. Uh, uh, I think we talked about it. yes, we already did uh, what was more important, physical or mental toughness. Um, so what's next? life <laughs> Any, so no big plans to do another crazy adventure like this well, it's, <laughs> it's there's a there's a lot of discussions happening but okay. no decisions have been made okay yeah. well that might be a good bet to yeah. take the world it. is our oyster right now yes. so. and, and the, the thing is is that we're still recuperating from the trail like yeah. we're yes. still we're still physically, sleeping like phys nine, ten hours and a day. Physically and mentally tired. Yes, yeah. okay. We're still sore. sore. There is a transition, like maybe, I don't have this on my sheet, but there's definitely, 
when you go through something so challenging, so enduring, yeah. for such a long time, it's I don't want to say PTSD, but, but there's a there's a transition absolutely. to coming back into civilization. Yeah. 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 And standing in lineups and yeah, dealing with, you know, bills or yeah. Or life. whatever that just, is, life. Just meal yes. Planning. Yes. Just meal planning. We we haven't had to do meal planning yes. because we were just buying whatever was available. Yes. But now we have to meal plan. Yes. You know that's it's even simple. what to yeah. wear because I know before yeah. we did this, Dan was saying he had like one top and one shirt and uh, one, one pair of shorts. Yeah. One but uh, yeah. I mean, you know, today you had a lot more to choose from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Absolutely. I know that before we were beginning, you were mentioning about a uh, book. Is there any book that you would suggest for anyone that's thinking of, this one right here. you know, doing this? Push, push and can you, push so it's north. Pushing North. Uh, by Trey by Free. Trey Free. Okay. Uh, Tame the Mind, Savor the Journey, and it's by Trey Free. And you both read this and, and would recommend it for anyone who's Absolutely. Taking it Absolutely. Yeah. And you have to really take what he's saying to heart. Don't okay. brush it off. Okay. Um, getting towards my last, it is my last question, really. Uh any passing advice uh, you have for anyone that thinking of taking on the AT <laughs> the Appalachian Trail? Um, I know it's a, take, it's a big it, question, take but take it one day at a time. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, if 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 you truly want to do it, go for it. It's hard, but it's doable. Yeah. Okay, it is very doable. Push. We did it. We are very ordinary people, and we did it yeah. from what start to the end. But it's the the. the the, the embrace the suck yeah. when you get sucky embrace it yeah. because, I think that's from the book actually yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, because it, it, if you if you get in your head that this sucks this sucks this sucks well guess what you won't make it yeah it, it is a, I, I personally I think it's a monumental achievement I think it's even a, a larger achievement as a couple um, I don't know if you guys gave that much thought but I think it's very difficult because um, just now there's two that you have to, you know, there's oh, another yeah. person you have to worry about, and emotional and that. So I, I've, um, it is. I, I personally, now I, I think it is the hardest trek in the world. Now I haven't done many treks, and I haven't certainly haven't done anything like this. But the length, the 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 topography, the climate, just the sure time. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that rivals it. Mm -hmm. um, so I do appreciate. I, I'm. I mean, I can't say enough about what you guys accomplished. I'm amazed. Uh, I'm happy that I've got to meet you and that I've had this opportunity to pick your brains. And I hope anyone watching this uh, benefits from it as well. Uh, and so I just want to say congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad you survived the suck and you yeah, embraced yeah, it. Yeah, 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 and yeah. now you're back in civilization. So yeah. try to embrace that as well. Yeah. And, Absolutely. Uh, Anyways, uh, I just want to say thanks again for coming out. And this has been Super Dave at the Outback Pub. And I hope you enjoyed this question and answer with uh, Dan Landry and Tina Knox. Anyways, thanks for coming. Thank thanks. you. Okay, next one.